Hi folks, this is Jim. Um, I made a clip this morning and uh, uh, I wanted to use it for my next YouTube, but there was a piece of lint hanging down from my chin. And I didn't realize that until after I, I, I uh, uploaded it on my computer. So I'm going to have to redo the clip. So. I'm going to try to remember what it was I said in that clip. I'm doing this extemporaneously off the cuff. Basically what I spoke of in that clip was I was mentioning that I've been kind of disheartened about my YouTube views of late. Well, pretty much my entire experience with YouTube has been disheartening. Uh, I Obviously I'm not uh, a, a popular YouTube personality and for I'm sure for very good reasons which I won't go into I know what those reasons are um, looks age what have you and maybe I don't have the talent but in, at any rate um, I uh, been disheartened about my views so I instead of going to Google or YouTube to get promoted pay for promotion I just prayed to the Lord God Almighty um, that uh, He helped me out and maybe somehow put on people's hearts and minds to uh, view my stuff on YouTube and build up my viewership. Um, so that was probably a pretty frivolous prayer. Uh, I came home today to look at my views. I made I, I, I prayed that prayer last night, by the way. And it's about 24 hours now. And so I was very eager to come home to look at my uh, YouTube views. And they're still, you know, in the basement. Uh, so, uh, perhaps... Uh, that was a silly thing for me to pray for. But I was thinking, well, you know, why not? Why not give it a shot? A ask God to help you out. Uh, I, Before I go any farther, I want to say that I do believe in God the Father, uh, His Son Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, the th uh, three-in-one triune God, I, that's what I believe in. And I think it's uh, appropriate to have a conversation with God from time to time just like I'm having a conversation with you now through the camera here and I just and I, I'm not trying to get holier than thou or get you know start to preach or anything but I just went to God and I said you know this is like um, I don't know I feel bad about the uh, lack of viewership I'm getting and uh, I was wondering if you could help me out in that area and uh, so I uh, I decided to give the Lord, you know, a day to see what his answer would be. And I rushed home and I looked at my views. And uh, I think I'm, oh, my most recent upload, I had six more views than I had last night. And probably three of those views were mine because I like to look at my stuff from time to time. So. Obviously, I'm not going viral, which, by the way, I don't think I would know what to do uh, if I went viral. I don't. I don't think I would handle that very well. So I, I did not pray to go viral. Uh, you got to be careful what you pray for because you just might get it. Uh, what I was hoping for in my prayer was just an increase, a substantial increase in my viewership. To be honest with you, I feel kind of bad. I have a, like three or four loyal viewers, and I feel kind of bad for them because they they will comment on my stuff, but nobody else will, and I feel kind of like I'm putting them on the spot because uh, uh, their comments are you know alone on those comment screens, and I to be honest with you, I feel bad for them. So I was hoping. Uh, that, uh, you know, God would, you know, put it on people's hearts to, you know, you know, check my stuff out. And if they liked it, to comment. I, I 
did not pray for any trolls to show up. Now, a troll is 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 a person who is. Uh, I know he rains on everybody's parade. He just shows up on YouTube's to say mean things on the comment screen. I didn't. I didn't want any trolls to show up. So, but I did was hoping that you know you know some viewers that are appreciative would show up and say nice things. Um, I, I I'm not a. I don't enjoy crit. I you know I should I should embrace criticism, but I don't. You know, and and not that I. I I'm an egotist. I don't want people to puff me just for the sake of my own ego, and I don't want to kid myself into thinking I'm a, a brilliant YouTuber when I'm really not. But, you know, I was hoping that, you know, people that, if they did like it, that they, they would comment on it. Um, and that did not happen. I didn't get a comment uh, in the last 24 hours, and uh, that's not unusual. I normally don't get any comments. I, again, I do get a few comments from some nice people that, you know, are trying. I guess trying to help me out, but um, I don't get rave comments from people, and probably rightfully so. I don't. Uh, I'm not entertaining enough for those people, and I I understand it. But anyway, I was hoping you know there would be an improvement, a substantial improvement, and there wasn't. So I, I imagine that. Perhaps my prayer was a little bit frivolous, and God is saying, "No, Jim, that's not what I created you for. I didn't create you to be a YouTube uh, phenomenon, or you know, you know, somebody who's uh, big on YouTube. I had other purposes for you, not YouTube. So, or He's saying." Uh, not now, Jim. Maybe later, but I don't know exactly what he's saying. I've never heard the audible voice of God. By the way, I have met four people who have heard his voice audibly with their ears. So that means audibly. Uh, I never have. I, I try to sense what God wants me to do, just somehow sense what I call sensing in my spirit. Um, but I've never actually heard his audible voice. I understand uh, that uh, when he does speak to people, they, he often speaks in a very... A uh, small voice, a low voice, a very gentle voice, and it's not you would think, you would think it'd be a big booming voice, but it's the four people I've talked to who said they've heard his voice, and I have no reason to doubt their word. Uh, they they seem quite otherwise. I I knew these people, and they seem to be quite um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, have integrity otherwise, and in their life and that I, I I don't think they would lie about something like that. It'd be a very dangerous thing to lie about if you you know if you did. People just don't lie about stuff like that. Um, if they you know really believe in God. Uh, I but they said that in every and, and by the way their all their stories were similar. They uh, when they heard God talk it was just in one sentence. Just a few words. And that was it. And another interesting thing, in all four cases, they only heard God once in their lifetimes, and it never happened again. And and that kind of makes me think, and none of these four people knew each other, but that kind of makes me think, uh, that gives a lot of credibility to, to me in them, in their stories, because they're so similar. Number one, the voice was uh, low and gentle. Number two, it only said a few words, a single sentence. And number three, they only heard the voice once in their life and never again. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that was quite a, interesting. I don't know what that has to do with my uh, disappointment in YouTube, my YouTube views, but I just thought I would bring it up. Well, uh, this is Jim. I'm going to be uh, signing off now. Um, if my viewership goes up, if somehow God miraculously moves in some way, some positive way regarding my YouTube viewership, I'll let you know. But so far, it's not happening. Anyway, thank you very much. Goodbye.